Hello, good afternoon, everyone. So I'm Peter. I'm the founder of uh, Karate Labs. It's based on an open source project. And I'm here to just share a little bit about my story. Hopefully, it'll be inspiring because, um, you know, uh, open source projects start in all kinds of different ways. So um, you know, I'll just share my story and hopefully it uh, resonates with you all. So what is Karate? Karate is a test automation tool. It started out as an API test automation tool, but today it does a lot more, which I'll share a little bit about. Um, that's the GitHub page as of like last night. Uh, the key things to note are 6,100 stars. Uh, that's in five years. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about why I created Karate. I created it about five years back. Uh, I was working as a platform, API platform lead architect uh, in a company called Intuit. Uh, by the way, Karate is completely based out of Bangalore, so it's one of the few uh, successful, I would dare to say, Indian open source projects. Uh, in fact, last year, uh, it won uh, the GitHub grant, uh, you know, it's one of the top 15 to be selected. Uh, so it's got a lot of things, good things going for it. Of course, a lot of contributors, a lot of uh, feedback, uh, and it's quite successful. Uh, and I created Karate because I was trying to do automation uh, for APIs in my project, and I found that the way that my team was doing it was uh, not, you know, something that I was happy with. So I'm very opinionated. I just created a side project, and then... Uh, as you say, the rest is kind of GitHub history. So uh, <laughs> why is Karate uh, successful, if I dare to use the word? And I'll give you some data points as to why uh, I think it's been successful. It's certainly been very fulfilling to me as an open source contributor and maintainer. Uh, but for those of you who are specifically interested in quality assurance and test automation, uh, these are the things you would be interested in. Uh, I think Karate has an edge over many other competi competing tools, and it's one of the few tools, in fact, the only tool to combine API test automation, UI test automation, and performance testing, including mocks, which is not on this slide, uh, into one framework. So I'll, I'll quickly flash the architecture in a couple of slides from now, uh, but you, know, uh, you can look up uh, Karate on GitHub anytime, I'm sure, and find out more. Obviously, this is a very short talk, uh, so I'm, I'm going to try my best to give you a teaser of what Karate does and, of course, a little bit of my story. And um, these are all the logos that we know of who use Karate. Now, Karate being this you know, very pure open source project, uh, there's no instrumentation, so you know, uh, we've based this you know, set of slides by talking to existing users who've reached out and uh, there's various indicators like people, job postings is one of the most exciting things that's happening. So, you know, uh, there are, you can go and look up for yourself that uh, test automation, you are seeing karate being more and more coming up uh, as like a required skill in some cases. So it, it kind of makes us proud. And uh, some of you may be aware of Y Combinator. So, um, you know, especially after getting the GitHub grant, um, around that time, I decided to leave my corporate job. So I'm like, uh, this is the eighth month uh, in which you know Karate Labs has now come up as a startup. Uh, we got accepted to Y Combinator, which is actually quite a big deal, uh, in, depending on how you look at it. Uh, of course, some amount of funding uh, behind the scenes, uh, and of course, you know I, I founded Karate Labs, uh, legit, really because um, number one, right? You saw the logos of all the people who use Karate, so that's a huge responsibility. In fact, that keeps me up at night, right? There are actually many enterprises who kind of depend on Karate for their CI CD pipelines and you know validating whether their uh, software is ready to ship and so on and um, there came a point where genuinely and you know hopefully this inspires some of you who want to you know do more with open source there genuinely came a point in my day job where I found that working on open source and Karate was far more fun than you know my day job so uh, all these things kind of combined, oh, GitHub grant, uh, getting accepted to Y Combinator, and you know, here I am, along with my good friend of 16 years, uh, Kapil, uh, we've co-founded Karate Labs, and you know, it's, the journey is just starting. Okay. So uh, this is the architecture of Karate as of today. Uh, all of these pieces are open source. You can go and look at GitHub, the same picture is there. And, and I think the things to call out is uh, Karate started at the very bottom left of this picture just for API testing. But obviously, uh, the magical thing that happens in open source, right? You get feedback. You get people telling you that, hey, your code is good, it's useful. Can you do this? You get feedback. Uh, you get people actually contributing code. Wow, when that happens, that's one of the most amazing things ever, right? And um, in five years, we have actually expanded to do API mocking, um, web browser automation. So yes, uh, it, in case you're wondering, 
does karate compete with things like Selenium and Cypress? The answer is yes, right? So uh, I don't have a demo for UI testing, but it's something we can, we can do later. Mocking, um, performance testing, as I said, and it even does desktop automation. Um, and you can even see Appium support, although I wouldn't call the mobile automation you know, fully mature yet. That's an area where hopefully uh, some of you could step forward and contribute. Uh, so there it is. So I'll do a quick demo. Um, what does an API test look like? And the first thing you should notice is that this is Visual Studio Code. So the good news is that Karate is like technology neutral. It has IDE support. Uh, there are teams that are, no matter whether you're a Java shop or a JavaScript, Python, Go, Ruby, uh, you can use Karate because Karate just works on the API level. It just understands HTTP and you can write your tests. And the other good thing about Karate is that it, it's, it's living with you in your IDE. It's not like decoupled and it's a separate user experience like other tools. So I'm just running this so you can run a test right straight from your IDE. Um, by the way, the script should hopefully be readable. That's one of the, of course, uh, nice things about Karate. And the reports, uh, one of the things about the report is actually you see the HTTP traffic in line, uh, which is cool. So I'm also going to do a demo of um, trying to insert an error deliberately because the most important thing about your test automation report is that when there's a problem, and you're always going to have problems, when there's a problem, you should be able to easily see where the problem is. So if I reload that report, you see a red line, you expand it, you see exactly what failed. And even if your JSON is very large and complicated, and it's likely going to be complicated, uh, you, you get to see you know, what happened uh, pretty quickly. Um, this other demo is interesting. I'm going to boot a, a simple application on localhost. Um, I'm going to bring up the UI. I'm sorry, this is the test of parallel execution. This is completely headless, and um, which means that you can obviously integrate Karate into your CI CD pipelines. So you're going to look at the report. Uh, a large number of tests were run. If you had run them on one thread, it would have taken maybe 10 minutes. Uh, but you see that because five threads were used, um, your test, and you can even diagnose, right? You can actually figure out which test was slowing down your pipeline. So this is very important. And I, I really want to reinforce the point that if you look at all the test automation tools in the market, very few of them do parallel ex execution well. So I, I just wanted that uh, to be something that you think about. Finally, the last demo I have, and kind of my favorite, which is performance testing. Haven't you always wondered that when you do performance testing today, you have written functional tests, regression tests in some tool, right? But then maybe five days before production, you scramble and you say, we need to do performance testing, and you call in the SWOT team kind of a team that uses yet another tool, JMeter, Gatling, K6, whatever. And then you have to rewrite all your flows in that tool and then only validate. But what if you could reuse your existing functional API tests and just delegate to a tool get performance testing for free, and that's what you get with Karate. Uh, I believe this is one of the reasons why many teams choose Karate. So it's just something for you to think about. And I'll have a demo of this, which is, yeah, this is the demo where I bring up uh, an application on localhost. It, it's got a UI, but it's got an API behind it. It is the, you know, you plenty have seen this application. I'm sure this to-do application, right? You can create a to-do, delete it. Uh, what I'm doing on the right-hand side terminal is running a performance test. It's hitting the backend using APIs. You can see all the stuff happening on the console. I'll even refresh the page to show you all the data. So APIs are a great way to load data into any backend system, obviously. So it gives you ideas. I'm opening the performance test report that's coming from a tool called Gatling, which is another open source tool that we delegate to. It's got fantastic reports. It's been written by experts in the whole performance testing domain. So Karate has this amazing con uh, collaboration or, you know, uh, integration, you don't even need to know the complications of Gatling and Scala and so on. So with that, um, I think I'm done exactly on time. So thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm happy to take questions. You have a mic. Uh, so I have like two questions, one uh, related to technology and one is just a fun question. So like the fun question is, why is the tool called Karate? Oh, uh, uh, there's no particular reason. Um, 
I have some af you know affinity or uh, enthusiasm for the Japanese culture. You know, I actually watch anime. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> and <laughs> so uh, that's one thing. But on, uh, uh, in the early days, I was trying to do a wordplay on Karate Test or something like that. Uh, but I checked, and there was actually no software called Karate. So I just grabbed that name, and I think it's a much better name than Cucumber and things like that. So. <laughs> Thank All right, you. so coming to the actual serious question. So I see that uh, your uh, API testing platform is actually independent of the server language. So it, it's right. very unlike, say, Jest, uh, which is very specific to JavaScript and uh, any, many other things. Uh, but in the, can you go back to that sl uh, image that you had, like the all the technology stuff? Yeah, sure. The architecture, right? This yeah, one. yeah, this one. Yeah. So here, uh, um, there are like web browser automation testing and desktop uh, app automation testing. Yep. These are very kind of, they have some technology silos in which they are being built. It's right? a great so, question. Uh, how, like, can, can you, like, uh, I think the, if I step back, the fundamental theory for the UI automation, so the web automation and the uh, mobile automation, which is, I think, uh, the root of your question, right? Uh, these technologies happen to be based on remote protocols. Uh, so, for example, if I talk about Selenium, and a lot of you have, no, um, have heard of Selenium and WebDriver, right? Uh, they talk to a browser using HTTP, actually. So behind the scenes is nothing but yet another REST API. And Karate is a great API tool already, so that's how that works. Same thing with mobile. Mobile is actually, Appium is based on Selenium, right? Yeah. And uh, again, for completeness, there are things like Cypress and Playwright, if you know, is another big testing tool. So they also use a remote protocol, which is based on WebSockets. So the answer to your question is that Karate, because it knows how to speak these protocols, um, manages to do deeply technology, I mean, uh, deep things like mobile testing and browser testing like this, but still does it in a kind of a platform neutral way, if that makes sense. So uh, can, can you just like a li go into a little bit more depth for desktop app automation? Uh, That's a great, desktop is kind of an uh, odd one out because there obviously you have to do native. Okay, so what we have done, and uh, full disclosure, Karate is behind the scenes based on Java. It's written in Java. You know, that's my sweet spot as a programmer. Uh, but for the desktop automation, which is Windows specific, uh, we use a library called JNA, and there's another one which I actually am forgetting right now, but these do kind of native interop to C++ and DLLs, and that's how that stuff happens. So yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a surprise to me that Java is pretty good at doing native stuff, native stuff if you really wanted to, even though it's known to be this kind of a write once, run anywhere thing. You can do some pretty interesting things combining Java and Windows, and that's what we did with the desktop automation. Uh, we do, it needs contribution, so we, I'll be happy to chat with you more on after this. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, yeah. One question over there. Yes, thanks. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, hi. Uh, my question is uh, uh, on UI side, UI automation. As we know that like uh, Selenium, it gives like uh, many uh, false results here. So like how we are going to tackle that kind of false results or what are the hurdles we get uh, using Selenium, uh, we are going to come over with this uh, karate. That is yeah. first question. Uh, to, re to repeat the question, I think you're talking about the notorious flaky tests Karate. problem in the UI yes. world. Yes. Uh, and you know what? Guess what? I don't like writing UI automation. In fact, I recommend, and one of the good things about Karate, I think it, it leans your test strategy towards API testing, which I personally feel is the right place. And you, I, some of you I know would have heard of the test pyramid. So you should, in my opinion, have more API tests and then that last mile smoke test, maybe sanity test you can do as UI. But many companies don't do that. To answer your question, uh, Karate has rewritten the Selenium part. In fact, Karate is one of the few tools where uh, we don't depend on Selenium. We actually wrote our own Selenium implementation or the W3C web driver implementation. And you have to trust us on this or you can go and do a POC. We feel it's, uh, we've got this feedback from users that it's far more stable because we do a little bit of extra retries. And because of the quality, I would dare to say, of our implementation, it is a little more stable. Uh, there are also, to the last part of your question, and I have lots more, but I'll keep it short. Uh, there are ways in which you can actually use, um, what do you say, the, the, the written text on the screen, the human-facing text on the screen, rather than rely on XPath and CSS locators, which can be more robust in some senses. So I have a lot to say, but I will also say this, that there is no silver bullet for UI automation. It's one of the most hard, hardest things to do, actually, in um, the whole f field of software development. And I'm telling you this as someone who writes an automation tool. So yeah. <laughs> And the second question is like, um, 
the cucumber also plays the same role here right so how is it uh, which one cucumber cucumber um i can spend 20 minutes on this and they're going to kick me out but uh, karate is uh, i have a lot to say about cucumber karate is based on cucumber you, could, you would have seen that given when then st stuff but short answer is karate is not for bdd karate is think of it as a scripting language for automation and nothing more it just happens to be much more simpler because it looks like cucumber people like it because it's more readable uh, but that's my short answer and i'll be happy to chat more maybe during the break on the hallways okay and third question is like uh, can we directly feed our uh, api scripts to um, uh, gatling yes that was the last demo where the your api scripts as is are given to gatling you just add the load model multiplication factor number of users and it just works uh, it's one of the few tools that actually allows you to do that yes okay thank you awesome thank you all thank you all <laughs>